click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design we are right now learning about those components which undergo static loadings in such a component is crane hook so we have seen what is the basis of crane hook in today's session we are going to look at the design aspects of crane hook let me remind you that crane hook is a kind of curved beam we have seen that in curved beam there are basically two types of stresses that induce if and until the other stresses are not mentioned the first one is the direct stress that acts on the cross section and the other one is the bending stress that acts because of the bending moment due to the curve section of the given problem or the part so let us begin with it students you can see on the screen a kind of crane hook is shown the cross section of this hook may remain throughout constant or it may go on changing for certain cross section design has to be done such a cross section xx we have considered and that cross section is shown in the figure now the cross sections can be i it can be t it can be a trapezoid it can be a circle also it can be a rectangle also for different cross sections you can find out different formulae which are associated with this cross sections in the phd data book so such a cross section we have considered for example for the understanding purpose which is a trapezoid let us understand the nomenclature which is very simple the larger width the smaller width and the distance between them is the h thereafter there goes an axis now let me explain that axis funda let me consider that for this curve there is a uniform radius for the majority part of course you can't say that there is a radius which is constant right from this point up to this but for the major portion the radius is constant the same thing applies to this portion so that radius is the inner radius that we have if we add to that certain thickness that becomes outer radius and therefore outer radius is nothing but inner radius plus thickness t thereafter this particular center is nothing but this axis so this cross section is rotated about this axis and that is what is considered in this particular example so at this particular level the cross section is this one so the inside radius and the outside radius are shown the thickness sometimes can also be mentioned in terms of h for this particular cross section the thickness is equal to h you can mention thickness t is equal to h here for this particular example with respect to this there are certain formulae and to use those formulae we need to go through the phd data book such a formula is mentioned here this is the eccentricity that lies between the radius and the normal axis radius or the neutral axis radius let me show that if i consider the mean of this particular cross section that actually forms the neutral axis radius so this is one of the relations that we have which is the eccentricity and this is the second relation that we have is nothing but based on this particular thing only so h will be this h will be rn minus ri thereafter there are particular formulae for neutral radius inner radius and outer radius and all these relations we can find in phd data book the relations are quite large so it's advised to refer to the phd data book and not to mug up these equations so as we are going to solve the numerical we will be looking at certain relations and then we'll go ahead with the numerical solving so let me quickly revise that what we are going to do in this if the load is acting like this there are two types of stresses the first stress will be the direct stress and which is nothing but in this case it is going to be tensile in nature and that is nothing but p divided by area of cross section of this particular so direct stress will be given by 
force divided by area where this area is nothing but the cross section area of this particular crane hook and the second kind of stress is going to be bending stress which is based on the bending relations or bending equations of course Apart from this, we need to understand that there are two types of bending stresses that will induce here. A bending stress which will occur on this particular edge which is the inner radius and the bending stress that may occur on the outer edge which is the outer radius. We know that the bending stresses are inversely proportional with the radii and hence we can consider the maximum amount that is going to be induced is the inner radius bending stresses. So, with this, we are going to take their summation, interpolation or superposition we are going to have. So, they will be added together. And based on this, we are going to design the crane hooks. So, student, next time we will be dealing with the numerical which are based on the crane hook design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.